Okay, so we're back in Unreal Engine 4. I had to separate the videos because it'll be easier for people to find if I separate them. So uh, this video, we're going to be adding some groom hair to that character that we just imported from Character Creator 3. Now, a couple of things and a couple of reasons why you would want groom hair instead of just the regular hair that comes from Character Creator 3 is because with groom, you can actually have physics and it will move. So, okay, so the hair we're going to be using is this hair that I already used in my previous videos. Uh, this is actually... Uh, groom assets as you can see here uh, groom not just hair so this is good because it has physics in it now I did talk to the individual uh, who made these and they said they're gonna be making more so that's actually good news for us so with that being said let's go ahead and add this to our project uh, let me go ahead here it's cyber tut let's go ahead and add that to our project so you can see it and just to make sure we do have the plugin for Alembic on because you will need that to import anything groom related so I have everything of that on I have all that on and it's actually already here it's called hair for day so we're gonna go here and you're gonna see that there's five of them right here okay so how do we add this to our third person character so let's go ahead and go to our protagonist again and we're gonna go to our skeletal mesh and we're gonna go look at her skeleton now it is still that skeleton but so, but that's okay so what we're gonna do is actually add a socket to the head so if we go to here on the left side of the skeleton we're gonna right click head and we're gonna add a socket in that socket we're gonna go ahead and rename to groom alright so let's go ahead and save that we're not gonna change anything just yet alright and then we're gonna go ahead and minimize that and then what we're gonna do is go back to that third person blueprint so it's gonna go back here blueprints and go to this one and then we're gonna go to the viewport I'm gonna go ahead and move this camera up a little bit so I can see the head but basically what we're gonna do here now is under the mesh click the mesh we're gonna add a groom component there so G R O O M just like so and I'm gonna double click that or one click that and then I'm gonna go ahead and move all these and then what we're gonna look for as a groom asset is the let's just do clipped and it should load right here in the bottom of the foot okay so there you go that's the clip okay so the next thing we're gonna do is actually add this to the event play the position of the hair so if I go to the event graph I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to the top and then what I'm gonna do is create an event begin play event begin play because we want it to uh, attach as soon as I press play here okay so after that we're gonna go ahead and squiggly drop and we're looking for attach component to mesh right here okay and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this mesh for now uh, and then we're gonna draw it. we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop the groom and we're gonna do that as the target and then we're gonna drag and drop the mesh and we're gonna do that as the parent okay and then the socket name here I'm gonna type the socket we created which is groom let's go ahead and compile all right let's go ahead and save all right and then let's press play here to see if it did anything all right so now you see that that the hair is actually in front of her face now so yep we just have to rotate it right so that's easy if we go to the skeleton and we look at the head socket we created we can actually rotate that and let me just take a look to see how we have to rotate it because you can actually see it it looks like we have to rotate it left and then up so let's see if I can figure that out I'm gonna go back to the mannequin I'm gonna go ahead and press rotate right here E and I think it's up 90 let's just do 90 oh no I don't want to, I don't want to move the head so make sure let's go ahead and choose the groom asset and we're gonna rotate and let's rotate that 90 degrees and see where that takes us. I'm going to go ahead and save, minimize, and press play. Okay, so that's good. Getting close. So it's really close. And now we just have to rotate it to the right. So go ahead, go back. Now, I don't know what you're thinking. Uh, you can usually do a preview asset here. But I was not able to find the groom asset in here. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong direction or wrong spot but sometimes when you add a socket you should be able to you know add the preview here so you can rotate it here but um yeah i was i was not able to find that groom asset here so 
Maybe you guys can tell me how to do that. So for now, we're just going to have to do some guessing game here. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate that 90 degrees. Safe. Minimize. And if I press play. Awesome. It's getting there. Let's go to the light so I can kind of see a little bit better. All right, it's getting there. So all we have to do now is actually just move it down unless you're going for that style. So go back to the groom, press uh, W, and then we're just going to move this down a little bit until it looks good. Now, if you have two monitors, um, obviously it will be faster for you, but I'm doing a tutorial so I can only record one at a time. And as you can see right there, that's actually pretty decent. But yeah, so obviously it doesn't look as good yet because we haven't really set up the materials and the shaders. But yeah, that's how you add a groom uh, hair to your third person BP character in Unreal Engine 4.